Brady's. Today I want to remind you to not get lost in doubt. It is only through belief in self, more importantly, belief of who you truly are, that you can pass the doubt that arises along your journey. Now, this can be doubt from within that you believe or you've created. It can also be what appears to be doubt from those outside of you. See, when you experience doubt that's outside of you, it appears real because something within you identifies with it. But I'm here to remind you that you don't have to identify with it. It's, it's going to be there regardless. And that's fine. But as you maneuver step by step, you'll realize that you don't have to accept it as truth. See, what others perceive, that's their business. What they share with you. That's their business that they share. Their opinions, ideas, beliefs. But you don't have to accept that it's true for you. You can move beyond it. And when you trust yourself in that manner, it allows you to bypass. I don't want to say bypass, but it allows you to Continue forward with less obstacles. Because, I mean, if we look at it, we're constantly growing. Whether we like it or not, whether we want to accept it or not. But sometimes we can, we can impact that learning curve by the things that we choose not to entertain by the things that we choose not to give attention to, by the people we don't give attention to, the environments. It's not about saving the world. It's about saving ourselves. And I'm not talking religion when I say save ourselves. Nah, it's about building a relationship with our true, with our divine being, with our nature within and finding comfort in that. And only in doing so can we truly express ourselves in a manner that is that is truly who we see ourselves to be. It's not about fitting in. It's not about standing out. It's about being true to oneself. The God within us we will learn for an indefinite amount of time. So allow yourself to grow. It's not like the man-made schools of the world. Nah, this is not to go and get a degree. This is not to get good grades. This is not to be on, on a road. Nah, it's different. This is about understanding our true place in this reality that we dwell in temporarily. So it's not about passing or failing. It's simply about understanding. See, there will be things until there will be things that we struggle with. There will also be things that we have no issues or problems with until we leave this vessel. Cool. But along the way, we can choose to apply our energy to nourish our spirit in ways that make this thing that we call life a little bit more enjoyable. Sometimes it's acquiring new skills and new things to focus on. And not for the sake of being good at it or being the best, but simply to 
reveal who we are through doing something new. That's it. Sometimes to simply do something different is the end goal. And by starting something different, you've met the goal. You don't have to be world renowned. You don't have to be special in the eyes of others. No, it's the opposite. It's about knowing yourself, learning yourself more, and treating yourself as if you are that special person in your life. Now, as we evolve, as we reveal more of who we are, who we believe ourselves to be, we have more opportunities to shift focus. We have more opportunities to shift direction, shift attention, change the ideas that we hold on to, and even nourish new ones. That's the beautiful thing about it. There's this idea of a uh, character of an individual that comes to mind for me. And I may be incorrect in my assessment, but it appears to me that when those outside of me speak of someone that has character, it speaks more so about their opinion on someone's dependability as far as how they will or will not handle certain situations. To me, that's interesting because we are always defined by what we do and don't do, what we choose and don't choose. And sometimes the ability to change, oftentimes the ability to change is where we see the most growth. So when I hear that one has a certain caliber of character, I tend to limit the amount of weight that I give it. I'm not demonizing it. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm simply stating that when one has character, it can only apply to one aspect of an individual. But there's so much more to us. I don't know if something to think about. All in all, remind yourself that doubt will always pop up. But you don't have to nourish that seed. Move forward. Do the opposite and trust in yourself. Don't judge yourself too much. It's going to creep in. But know that you come from and you are always better than that. Believe in who you know yourself to be. Express from that. And over time, watch certain doubts fade away. Until next time, be blessed.